Hi, you guys. So, <clears throat> I have to be quiet because it's people sleeping in the house. But um, I just wanted to come on here and let you guys know that I am so thankful for everything that I have in my life and I am open to receive even more abundance. Yeah, I see, you know, people that have less than me and I see people Yeah. You know, on my way home, I see home homeless people. On my way home, I see homeless people begging for money in the streets out in the cold. And I'm just so thankful that, you know, nobody I know or my family or myself in that position and I think it's important to contribute to do something about the situation to you know help, help the less fortunate but I am so thankful for everything that I have I have a great family who supports me I have a strong foundation of my background and how I was brought up and raised and I am thankful to be from New Orleans. It's such a great place with so many good foods and um, yeah, I'm just ready to do some traveling you guys. I know this whole COVID thing has just gotten me to want to really get out and explore new places even more so than before, before COVID. But I feel like I need to be in Miami right now, like surrounded by the beach and nice restaurants and malls. Oh my gosh, if I could be anywhere, it would be Miami. But not so much right now because it's really cold. But um, I don't know, maybe in Bora Bora or something. But um, yeah, um, the year is almost over and this was a hell of a year for everyone because of COVID and other things just happen at once. This is one for the books for sure. I know it was a it was a really good year for me because it helped me to stop doing so much you know I think I was thinking so one dimensional of how to receive what I want in life and then this happened out the blue and I was working every day at a restaurant running around like a chicken and I was like, to the point of exhaustion, I was working so much. And um, not every single day, maybe one to two days <laughs> off. But when COVID happened and they were like, they, they were, they sent everybody home and it was just locked down out of nowhere. And I finally got to relax. <laughs> 
It was so nice. I finally just got to sit down and be at home where I feel safe and yeah, it was nice. I didn't think it would be that long of a break. I was like, okay, are we going back to school now? Like every day I would wake up and be like, like this is for real. <laughs> Um, yeah, I loved it. I got to be at home with my dog and my cats and um, just relax and I didn't make any YouTube videos. I was barely on, I was barely on like my phone. I was mostly like watching TV, doing yoga. <laughs> playing video games, going out. I was still going out, going out to restaurants, meeting people. Yeah, it was fun. Uh, it was nice because less people were out. Nobody was out. And there's always places that never close in New Orleans. So yeah, I enjoyed that, like going out and not seeing the restaurant pack. Um, anyways, yeah, I think this is the year that I got my stuff together. Like, everything's in order. My credit is way better. I have money in the bank. <laughs> I'm not, like, well... Let me not say that because <laughs> I'm still, you know, working on that part, but, um, way better than I was the years before. <laughs> and, um, yeah, yeah, I think I'm right where I need to be at this point in my life and I'm excited for 2021 because this was such a crazy year. I think a lot of people learned a lot of things this year. So 2021 is going to be perfection. Everybody's like on top of their game, doing well in life. But yeah, I can't wait to go to Miami and be able to travel again and just live life.